here's our ingredients. I'm going to make some fast flapjacks, which I'm butchering the recipe from uh, Claire's book, uh, which is Mary Berry's Baking Bible. And But I'm gonna kind of half the ingredients because I haven't got enough ingredients, but the idea is to use some of this gluten-free granola up and some plant-based butter that we've got left and make something nice for his afternoon tea. So hopefully this is gonna go out nice. So first we set the oven to 160 degrees. So like I said, I've changed the recipe slightly, uh, and so I have added 113 grams of uh, dairy-free butter. Hundred and thirteen grams of Demera sugar. Add your sugar and butter into a pan. And add approximately thirty-eight grams of uh, golden syrup. I've just done this by uh, measuring a spoon and then putting spoonfuls in <laughs> as we go. Uh, the unscientific method like me. Add the syrup with the butter and the sugar. and heat it up on a medium to low heat. And then slowly heat and mix the sugar, the butter and the syrup together until it all joins together, all mixes up. Weigh out your oats, so I've done about 38 grams of just normal oats, gluten free oats. And about 100 grams of a, 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 like a fruity granola, which I had in the cupboard. Can't remember what the make was, throwing the box away, sorry. <laughs> Put plenty of butter in your uh, greaseproof dish and give it a good uh, swish around to try and make it non-stick. The recipe probably doesn't need it, but it does. It probably will help in the long run. Had a uh, chocolate, so I've got some dairy-free chocolate to add. So I've just literally got it all together in a little bowl, pestle and mortar, and uh, squashed it all together and smashed it up. So it's about just over 50 grams, as I said, maybe 60 grams of chocolate.
So I'll carry on mixing it over the uh, low heat until it all is fully melted. So once it's fully melted, you add your oats and your granola into your um, butter and syrup and sugar mix and then mix it all together so it's all in a nice stable and even consistency. Once it's all mixed together, if you just leave it to cool uh, before you add the chocolate. Once it's cooled sufficiently, probably after about 10 minutes, you can add the chocolate in and then mix it all together into a nice even consistency. Once it's all mixed together, if you put it into your uh, pre-buttered pan and get it all out and spread it out nice, and so, so it's a nice even level. And once you've got it in, just square it up best you can. Uh, it will be quite a soggy mixture so it probably start flattening out while you're baking it as well so just try and make it as best you can and just get it straight and then stick it in the oven the pre the preheated oven <laughs> so you're leaving it in at 160 degrees for about 35 minutes presents from our last uh, trip away. <laughs> so once it's been in the oven for about 35 minutes, you can take it out, it's already baked. It might have um, gone to a quite a thin kind of level. So what you can do is um, squash it all together so it makes it to a nice consistency. And then you leave it to cool and set for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, it's probably set enough so you can start maybe cutting it into pieces and then you just need to leave it to cool uh, until it's ready to eat. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what they're like, eh? They might be a bit hard, but um, I'll let you. Shall I let you bite in first? On a trip to the dentist. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. 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 Yeah, feels feels like it's going to be really hard, but it actually nice and chewy. Mm. 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 Surprising nice good. Because mm. it's like very nice. I think that's a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Messy hands. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Mm. See you later. Bye.